action. How you put a switch on a third third in that boat action? You ain't never seen that. Like man, that. Man, man, see, Ryan here, Ryan here. Man, I got some young niggas. I got some niggas. I can give them half a gram. I right, they'll go kill you. 15 <laughs> I'm in rap form. A bunch of K's, a bunch of choppers, what we got for Yeah. Oh, we can strong on. I put that size out. Mississippi, Jackson, Mississippi ain't playing no games, man. Murder Cappy, man. This is the Rap Forum. Y'all do me a favor, hit the like, smash the subscribe. We about to get right into it, man. Gonna react to this video. Most of one of the most dangerous cities in America and in the world. Jackson, Mississippi, man. Let's get into it. Yeah, I know. You know what? What's sad and heartbreaking? I feel like this this didn't happen by accident. This this was designed. See the bad. And if you could sum this area up in a sentence, this town, what would you what would you say? You can describe it in a sentence. Anything can happen at any time. Jackson is the murder capital of the world. What's your name? Is? Aaron. Aaron, leave me on. That is your Aaron. Step. My nigga, damn, blood, I blood, the potholes. Jack. Hey, whenever y'all see a whole bunch of young niggas like that, man, gathered around, please do me a favor, man. Walk your goofy ass across the street because they not playing, man. Switches on everybody, man. Just remember that when you see a whole bunch of switches on everybody, man. And one or two of them might got the drink. Thanks, man. That's a dangerous time. They what you make out of you run with the wrong crowd, you fall like a wrong crowd. Do you think a murderer can be a murderer and a good person? Yeah. Well, you know, you might be around a killer. They gonna die, you twisty diamonds. I got niggas that's gonna do whatever I say. I feel like Sam. No father figures, no male figures, right? Inside the homes to give the males that structure. And he right. Ain't no father figures out here inside the homes, bro. We been, you know, raised, a lot of us raised by single mothers, man. So you know what we gonna gravitate to. All the real ones in the street. All the father figure, male figure that's in the street. That's exactly who we gonna gravitate to, man. So whatever they doing, Exactly what we are gonna be doing, because as kids we only remember what we see. So they come out here in the streets. Yeah, there's gonna be some murder going on. This shit going on for real. Yeah, they still running under that Jim Crow law. Stay with me now. Don't get lost. Hard work is good. Yes, sir. There's some good solid black folks down here. Yes, sir. Yeah, I've been told to come to Mississippi because every documentary I do, I always see in the comments, come to Jackson, Mississippi, come to Mississippi. I also see comments saying, don't come to Mississippi because your camera work, your camera is going to get stolen. So I'm on my way to Mississippi now. I'm going to Jackson and Natchez and Moorhead um, to interview gang members. Hopefully my cameras don't get robbed when you see this video. Hey, and I'm from the South, man. And I'm from Georgia. And we don't even like going to Mississippi, man, because Mississippi, for as long as I can remember, just been so racist, bro. It's one of the most racist states I probably ever rode through. Man, black people don't get it easy, man, in Mississippi. Nowhere in the South, really, but Mississippi, bro, no sir ski. They still live by the mold laws in some places, man. I wouldn't be surprised if they still got slave miners down there. I ain't gonna cap. You right, bro? How are you? She cool, chill, straight. What's the name? Nick Herbert. And where are we at the moment? She Moorhead, Miss. And how dangerous would you say Moorhead, bro? This area of Moorhead is. I, I ain't gonna say it's it. Could it dangerous? Could we dangerous now? But other than it, you need a bitch. Yeah, Nick touched me on the spot on my bus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, son, ten you ten with the dangerous. There were any dangerous? Cause you with the dangerous mother. Like you with the other mother. Be dying for you. Hey, niggas got to show they hand, man. We got to show you how dangerous we get, man. We want to be the most dangerous. That's the only thing we pride in in the hood, bro. Who getting the most money? Who the most dangerous? Who doing the most? Who putting in the most work in the street? And who getting the most money, bro? That's how that's our ceiling, man. Our ceiling when you're in the hood it ain't to get out. You know what I'm saying? That's that's crazy thinking to most people. But 
who getting the most money, who hitting the most chicks, and who putting in the most work, man. He's great. I appreciate that. Five, five, six. I ain't gonna need to lie to you with switching yeah. on everything. Yeah. We got switched on 30, 30. You ain't even seen that. They both. What I tell you? Then I just tell y'all, y'all see a group of them switches on everybody. <laughs> I'll just be talking, man. That's, that's really what's going on. So move strategic around them, young niggas. Excellent. How you put a switch <laughs> on the 30, 30, and they both excellent? You ain't never seen that. Like, you know, see, Ryan here. Ryan here. Man, I got some but young niggas. I got some niggas. I can give them half a gram. All right, they'll go kill you. 15 <laughs> Stop playing. That's insane, bro. That's a different life. This yeah. is what's going on. That boy said half a gram of ice. He'll kill everybody. I don't even know when Mev hit the hood. Mev hitting the hood is crazy, bro. That is nasty work. I swam in the water, boy, I'm deep off in the ocean. Pull that lean up, boy, I'm sipping on that potion. Nigga, I'm so stingy, I'm a kid if you hold me. Yeah. You hear me? You know what's going on, man. The bottom boy shit, new world for well. No, right here on the block with the winner. You up, bro? What's the name? Leak, Lil Leak. And Leak, where are we at the moment? We're in the bottom. We're in the sick. And what's this area called? The city? The six. The six, yeah. And what's it like living in this environment? Same thing you'll go through, through another hood, shooting, killing, running from the police, shit like that. And bro, the And that's insane. That's our reality, man. When you're in the hood, that's your reality, man. Robbing, killing, running from the police, man. Whole bunch of baby mamas, dog. And I'm telling you, niggas be proud, man, where they from. And nine times out of ten, we don't own a grain of grass out there, bro. But we'll live and die about that street, that block, that area. The reason I've came to Mississippi is because I've heard it's one of the most murderous states in the whole of America. Yeah, there's going to be some murdering going on. Shit get real. And Nikki, why do you think that is, though? Why do you think the murder rate is so high within Mississippi? Killing. Beef. 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 Kill. Jealous, hate. You mad about pussy? Like, retaliation. Boy be mad about retaliation for sure. Retaliation. Yeah, you know, retaliation probably be like 90%, 10% and all the other shit. Oh, boy. And, and why do you think the violence is so hard? And what's crazy is they ain't lying, bro. Most of the beef in the hood be man. I'm going to keep it real with you. Over 50% of the beef in the hood be over females, bro. Other than that, they carry on retaliation. They carrying on murders that's not happening to their cousins that's done got killed or their brothers or their sisters or whatever. They, it's just a back and forth. It's ping pong. I was in Mississippi. Shit. You know, you know, you know, it may have started racism, you know what I'm saying? It started with racism. You know, when people start you know, having the wrong expect about what really was going on. You know, even Black Panthers, when yeah. it started about, right after the Black Panthers murdered, it was murdered. It was, yeah, it was murdered. You don't get it twisted. Would you say it's dangerous, Mississippi? You damn right it is. Everybody's got a gun. Yeah. And, be, and some of these kids don't have the education enough to know how to use it and stuff like that. Facts. You just said some real shit, man. I ain't gonna lie. Old man said some real shit. These kids get them switches, them drink offs They'll just up and shoot. They hitting kids, parents, grandparents, everybody. They ain't having no aim. They ain't putting nothing. They, they got to get everybody over there. That's why they like switches, man. You don't got to really aim them. You just up and fight. Everything over there in that vicinity getting knocked down. Swing that bitch from side to side. Ain't no need for second guessing. I know little brother certified. Mm -hmm. Before I forget, free the bros and f 
stop. They don't do shit but lip box. Them niggas need some crop tops. I'm the same young nigga that used to sleep on Dolly Cow. Okay. I've been stepping on their necks and Reebok and G Shock. Okay. Every nigga in my city here, they nothing put me on. Now I'm popping. I don't want to do no motherfucking song. I ain't tripping. I ain't got no problem doing it on my own. On my baby last week, I made a dub off the phone. Mm. In the time of media mistrust, chaos and crisis in the news, and the country gearing up for a pivotal election. It's a struggle to know what's real and what's fake. That's why I've been relying on Straight Arrow News lately. Straight Arrow News provides fact-based journalism and is a breath of fresh okay, center yeah, rating. Sorry, man. Y'all know what the f*** going on in the Jackson, Mississippi. You know, know what the f*** going on. I how dangerous is this area? This area right here, this is probably, probably the most dangerous area, you know, around the city. You know, it's a lot of dangerous spots out here. Everywhere dangerous. I ain't going to lie to you. Why do you think the, the violence is so bad within Jackson? It's really just the circumstance, you know. We just sure, part of man. our environment, you know what I'm saying? Like it's the it's the slums. That's all we know. Our favorite idols is the drug dealers, and you know what I'm saying? The, the ones that you know glorified in the hood is what we glorify. It's, this is almost like a. And the fact that they are, they know what we we know what we glorify, bro. They know exactly what they glorify in the hood, and they ain't gonna do nothing to change it. The hood ain't gonna never change, man. All the good olds and hoods around the world they ain't gonna never change, bro. As long as they keep the mentality just like this, keep the murders, keep the drugs in there, pumped in there, keep the murder rate up, it ain't going to never change. We're going to stay at the bottom. They're going to stay at the top. A completely different life. Well, yeah, we're a third world country for real. The one city. Yeah, we're a third world country for real. For real. Bro, if I'm honest, same parts of Jackson, you wouldn't believe in America. Yeah. For sure. We ain't got you. When you riding past the highway, you don't see no landmarks, no nothing. Well, you just see. It is what you yeah. see, though. It, yeah. You get what you, you know what I'm saying? It is what you see. Yeah. I'm rock out with a four inch up this bitch for you, a pro. You bitch, this dick out told me that you love me. You don't even know me. My head high stick to the sky. Think about where I want to slide. I hate to cut y'all boys off, but I was just thinking he was just saying ain't no landmarks or nothing. There is no reason for nobody to be trying to visit Jackson, Mississippi, unless you got family out there. There's no reason to be there. Ain't no reason to be there, bro. He right. There ain't nothing to go see. There ain't no landmarks. It ain't like Chicago. Chicago is super dangerous, but it's a beautiful city. So you're going to pull up. You're going to eat the food. They got the best food I probably ever had. But, man, I ain't got no reason in the world to go to Jackson. How many people live here in this city? We got about population about 15,000. You think so? You think it's lesser than that? Bro, it's about it's about yeah. It's a it's about 15,000. This shit is for old people, bro. This is not a young It's a retirement people. town. Because, like, 10,000 views, some to us here. Okay. So yeah. It's like, like that many people. So Yeah, like, that's like everybody people, else in the, that's everybody like, in the city. So 10,000. First of all, what you got on your mouth there, brother? <laughs> what the hell you had on your mouth, man? Look like a piece of shit. Bro, you touch 50 racks, then this bitch, you rich in our city, bro. Not even 50. About 15,000 people. 13,000 people. That's some tiny, bro. Bro, did you hear what the younger just said, man? You got 50,000 in that city. They feel like you rich. So imagine, bro, what's going down down there for any nigga down there getting some money, man. Lord, have mercy. That's what we get on the so small. But this ain't like it's grown, That's yeah, why a lot yeah, of crimes going on. It's so small. Yeah, 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 yeah. This the population where I, like down the road where I stay. One thousand people, bro. Like we go to the store, we got a bunch of our internet. And it's war time. So, yeah, right like this how it is. We right here. This our side. Right over there. Right through the side. bushes. The enemy territory. Right through the bushes. Our hood store right there. They hood store right there. But does anyone does anyone here regret jumping off the porch? No, it's all yeah, no, no. I regret. Being like 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 being green to this shit, you probably would have died. When you say be he right too, in the hood you got to go ahead and jump out the porch or stay in the house. You can't just be outside kicking and chilling, and you green to what's going on. You don't know what's going on. He ain't lying, bro. You damn near ain't got no other choice but to learn the ins and outs of what the fuck going on. Be green. What does that mean? Shot, like being shot. slow to this shit, trying to avoid it. And we've not just been so small. 
how far is the the up block, so to speak? See right, right there. You can go right there, dude. You, right there, dude. you just interview the <laughs> new chilo. You can go right there. <laughs> Bro, look at the old head, man. Up done seen so much shit. Don't nothing inside him. The interview don't inside him. The, the, the youngest behind him don't inside him. He just did a give him game. He been stuck in the hood probably his whole life, bro. He done seen so much shit he shell shot. Look at his face. It's in our block. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. That's you know that? <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> You just left him over there. You just left him over there. Oh, that's close. You said you were three minutes away? Yeah, yeah. You yeah, right there. That's insane, bro. Yeah. We can walk through the bar, right? You walk them down what they saying. Mm. Pull up 392, <laughs> track off, yeah, we spraying. Yeah. Yeah. Off in traffic, drop that mad f*** you and your man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. We get right to them, nigga. We stand on business. Yeah. Yeah. Off in the trenches, I been king of the city. Yeah. Been the run of the city, getting the 18 with his own niggas. Been dropping bags, stepping on fuck niggas. Been off in the prison, taking over the whole system. Been yo boy, nigga, running off of niggas. Been all the streets, nigga, running with money bags. I been called money bags, told my need a bag. Hard body in the city, we ain't looking bad. I told these nigga, I told that bitch, I put that on my bag. Fast, fast. What, what you do in your spare time? So what? <laughs> what, what, what is there to do? Have you got cinemas there? Gyms? Shoot that okay. bitch. Yeah, mm -hmm. shoot that bitch. Yeah, hit, they hit studio. Lifestyle. Mm -hmm. is, there, is there like recreation? Every day, all he said they do is shoot that, hit chicks, and go to the studio, bro. If y'all notice, everybody out here rapping, man. The, the music, for some reason, we feel like that's the only way out is because what we see from rappers and all that, man, um, is the glitch, the glamour, the gold, and the hole, bro. So we automatically think, man, the only way I can get out of this hell hole, this situation, I got to rap. And that's insane. That's one thing they did, bro. They put us in a box. They took all the, damn near all the good resources away. They put anything in the hood that can kill us. And then they didn't show us no other way but the music is the only way we can even escape that motherfucker. So much stuff to do. Like, is there a gym here? Yeah, it's a gym. It's a gym here, but it ain't. It ain't. It ain't like no open gym. You just can go to. It. It's like a middle school. You got a college gym, but it's just like an open gym. You can go to. Though I see it, it really ain't nothing here. Is there a cinema here? It is. What it is? Nah, like we gotta go to a whole nother little town for the movie. There's no uh, cinema. Nah. Mm -hmm. We, ain't we ain't got no movie theater. We got, it. we got two it, places to eat. It did middle of hell. We got, we got, we, we, really, 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 we got, we really, really got three stores, be real. It can't go quick. Dollar. We have three stores in the three town. Three stores. Is there nothing to do here for the youth? It was, shit. Well, it still is. It I just really. shit. <laughs> it really ain't shit. It really ain't shit, so shit. It's Everybody just. Right. What do you do on a daily basis? What what can you do? Is this is a gym? Control the neighborhood. Uh, yeah. Control the neighborhood. Get money. Is that it? Yeah. Bro, everywhere he go, they say they ain't got nothing to do. You know, when I was growing up, we had uh uh centers for the children, kids centers, boys and girls club. It's nothing for these kids to do. Bro said they had three stores and no movies. What you think they gonna do? They gonna sit up under that tree. They gonna trap all day. They gonna rap all day. And at night they gonna go. Hit the same girl that the enemy's hitting, bro. So this what this where all that murder and all that mayhem be stemming from. You know what I'm saying? Patrol neighborhood get money. It's like it ain't shit for the kids no more because the kids the one killing shit. Ain't nothing for the kids no more. Ain't no more parades. Ain't no basketball. It's over with. Niggas getting it on. Nah, everybody's playing. Yeah, we ain't even got shit down here. We 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 don't see shit. We you know what I'm saying? What's it to do in Jackson? It ain't shit to do. But catch a body. Nigga, all the time we got fun. Oh, you some drugs. That's all you got. That's all you gonna do. That's exactly what I just said. Damn shame. Ain't nothing for him to do. Ain't nothing for him to do. They just outside. Kill it. That's wild, bro. It's, it's all it is. Do, do you think a murderer can be a murderer and a good person? Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's a, a whole lot of good-hearted people out here. A person ain't gonna murder nobody for murder no reason. Boy. Yeah. You can look at him. A, 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 
person murdered this person. You could be a bitch and kill somebody. It'll be, nigga, my yeah, sort of guy. Yeah, right. my, my, my. I don't even think we got self-defense. Yeah, no, like, he's saying, he was like, what he's saying? He's talking about like a self-defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you, like, you have a good character. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You reckon that's possible? Yeah. yeah. Like, all the people out here, they know us, so they look at us like. Forget what? What that boy did say? They look at us like. like this woman right there. I have to get my thing. Everybody out here called. Huh. They grow up. So yeah, it's like Even though she know, like, what's going on, she still look at us like her own. She yeah. accepts everybody no matter what. She cook. Guess what? She going to call you over there and come get a plate. She going to make sure you good because guess what? She know you really got a good heart. It's just yeah, you what you got yourself involved in. What, what you been. Like, yeah, nine times out of ten, everybody bumping until you don't know. That's how smart it is. I murdered her, people. And and a lot of them, a lot of these kids got good hearts. A lot of these saying they with these switches, these murdering robbers, they had good hearts, bro. Circumstances just, uh, uh, man, circumstances turn you to a demon, bro. What King Bun said, he seen his homeboy, when he, his homeboy got killed, it turned into a demon. Bro, this every day. Hell no. In the old days, when I, when I was on our farm, they never make it off the farm. They go in a hole and somebody uh, did something wrong, killed somebody. Uh, uh, uh. I ain't saying frontier justice. I'm just saying uh, it's, 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 uh, the educational system and the welfare system and the judicial system has burned this part of the country as far as not prosecuting people. The education system ain't getting everybody an education, which he's getting a good education. Yeah, come over here, pay attention. I'll murder the good people. All murderers are good people. Man, he just, I hate to keep pausing, but he just said the, the judicial system, the educational system, and the welfare, man. Turn this whole country around, man. Back in the 60s and 70s, man, 50s, black people was flourishing, man. They sent them jobs away, bro. Introduced that welfare. Dumbed down the educational system and turned up the judicial system. And now we where we at right now. Hey, it just like it just like, but shit. If a nigga do something to you and just kill you, cause it's a, it's a whole reason, cause like you probably went too far. With what you did, you feel me? Nigga ain't just finna come kill you yeah, for nothing. Nigga, a murder ain't finna kill you for nothing. Like that's why we so. Why I feel like we so big, like we ain't lost no home, but like to no smoke, cause we don't just. Like do shit to nigga, cause we deep. We got honey switches and shit. We do shit to nigga, cause every time we do something to somebody, cause they did something to us. We ain't never just on no bullet shit. You know we can't be on bullet shit. We ain't on no bullet shit. You feel me? Cause everyone here seems like good people. Everybody here good people. Yeah. Like you said, murder. Go. Yeah, murder. Murder good people. <sighs> no. I feel like you have murderers out here because they grew up on some bad influences or some wrong bad events that have occurred in their lives. Or a lot of them have been abused physically, mm. mentally, psychologically. So they end up seeking revenge. Thinking that, hey, they did this to me and I for I. Live by the sword, die by the sword. I feel like it's the wrong mentality to have, but hey, that's the way around here in Jackson, other areas of Mississippi. That's where they come. That's where they come up, and it is what it is. Yeah. God, I ain't even touch on that part. The abuse, the abuse that a young can go through in the hood, maybe from in his household, outside his household, when he go to school, the differences they make, bro, the shit they see in the street. That's mentally abuse. We ain't gonna act. We gotta factor in the physical abuse, and we also gotta factor in the sexual abuse, bro. That shit going on, man. That's what's turning. That's what's turning. We ain't, ain't just born like that, bro. Black people were born with the most soul for real. We ain't just born, man. This is a poverty environments. Is what turned a, the, the good little boy that used to be outside throwing a football to a killer. Mm -hmm. yeah. If it's not possible. Yeah. You never know. You might be around and kill. It depends on how. It depends on how the situation happened. Uh, I yeah. the girl. 
But this shit can't stop the female love one. Yeah, it been blood shit. She them like these these two for sure. Ain't no like spice. they from back here, like this shit run deep. Like. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Cause you don't know what made him do what he did. Might Ain't no problem. No bad started. I've been the hey. greatest person in the world. Somebody came in. Only, only, only tell you lose. This is how this shit go. He could have been the goodest person in the world. You took his partner in front of his face. You turned him into a monster. I just said that shit, man. I just said it. Well, how? You know how you talk them into a monster. I tell it, but well, not even that, it is, but you'll be going to get some money. Motherfucker, be hating on you, want to rob you. Yeah, anything. Well, I'm a Christian from a Christian worldview. There's no such thing as good people, uh, just bad people uh, who have been saved by Jesus and uh, have been forgiven. So lots of bad people who have been forgiven. Uh, I will say. Is that what the Christians believe for real? Nobody, it ain't nobody good. Just everybody was bad to say by Jesus. I ain't never heard nobody term it like that before. I ain't never heard nobody merch that one. That's new to me. I, that, um, I think in a, in a sense, my bad is just like anyone else's bad. It just looks different. Um, so whether that's swear words or using money for selfish reasons or lustful thoughts after women who are not my wife or murder and all the same boat. Um, we all do lots of evil things that don't make any sense. Uh, so I, I don't think there's such thing as a lost cause or someone that there would, there would not be hope for them to uh, change kind of the course of their life. I guess if that answers your question in a roundabout way. Yeah, it does it <laughs> House. I know years ago racism was a big thing. Yes. Do you still think that's still an issue within Mississippi today? Definitely. Yes. yes. Scene of savage riots over the registration of a Negro student after more Mississippi, than a century of Mississippi, a state marked by a painful past. From cotton fields to the civil rights movement, it's seen hardship and triumph. But beneath it all, another battle rages. In North Mississippi, four people were killed in Holly Springs. mass Spring. shooting in Mississippi. Three people killed, at least 16 others. Murder and violence gripped Mississippi's urban underbelly. Born from necessity and survival, these harsh realities paint a raw picture of life in communities still haunted by racism and inequality. Being black man, like, being one of us in Mississippi is like, oh, I can't even explain. It's like being a slave still. Like, we still really in slavery. Like, we still... It's still discrimination going on, favoritism, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't get opportunities and privileges other people get, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that, Has so we got to. I just said that, man. I be on point. Going to Mississippi, you damn near slave still, bro. That one, of, I'm telling you, one of the most racist states in America is by far Mississippi. Got to be top, top three. Do we got to do the. Survive. No, I would say initially the system was designed for the people who had been here the longest to thrive, even if that was at the expense of the people who were coming or being brought here, and which can, is which can. is a wrong way to think. 100%. Um, and I don't know that that way of thinking is prominent now. Like there may be a few individuals in, in different communities who think that way, but I think what we have now is a lot of the results of those things and the, I, like I said, the stereotypes or people's preconceived ideas who have not changed. Yeah, we don't really be running to too many white people, but like the police. Yeah, police, Probably. that's all I'd say. Because I heard in Jackson, there was 200 bodies found in shallow graves behind the police station recently. Yeah, she crazy. The gruesome discovery of 215 bodies buried in unmarked graves behind a jail outside of Jackson, Mississippi. Man, what? What? That's crazy work.
Mississippi has left a community in disbelief. The families are angry their loved ones were buried in so-called paupers' graves, marked by just a metal rod and a number, and families were never notified of their deaths. The startling revelation came months after the mother of 37-year-old Dexter Wade filed a missing persons report last March. It wasn't until August when Betterson Wade learned her son had been hit by a police car and killed, then buried in that same cemetery. Man, how is this even, how is this even legal? How is the feds not already on this 100%? This is insane work, man. This is nasty. About Mississippi, though, it's always been a, you know, racist. You know what I'm saying? All yeah, that. So, yeah, this bitch racist. This, and is it very much divided now? So it's a case of, I guess, there's but I, black and white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell nah, nah, yeah. hell nah. We don't really dislike no white people. We like we the white people. We don't see white people, though. You but know yeah, what I'm we don't really I'm... see them. This bitch really trenched out number black, broke yeah. black motherfuckers. Real yeah. talk. Yeah. Ain't nothing but, ain't yeah, ain't even no white people around this bitch at all. It was used, obviously, a lot in the 60s and 80s. Um, <laughs> Is it still used today? It is in black. But you know, uh, if I said if I said to you, Junior, what would you do? He get pissed off, and run off from. What did you do now? Yes, I would not make you feel. Pissed off. If he if he called you the N word or said it, I would be feel. Man, hold on, bro. That white man said that N word so effortlessly. And looked at the black kid and said, how would you feel if I called you that? That is crazy work. That right there let me know they still using that word down there with the hard ER. You can't tell me nothing different. And did they ever do it? No. No, sir. Okay. We, we try to get past all that. What yeah. they said on all that. Kind of like, he teaching them manners, but at the same time, he kind of like, damn little like he grooming little bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like he, man, I don't like this scene right here. This scene right here got me feeling some kind of way. I can't even lie to the people, man. Y'all hit the likes for me, man. But rap music, that, that's what's killing everybody, that damn rap music. In, 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 uh, boom, boom, shoot a cop and all that stuff. And that, that and it's redundantly said in that music. And it trains your mind to go ahead and do that. And that's the wrong thing. Hey, hey, walk down with that dirty cave. He ain't lying. I hate to keep pausing y'all, but he ain't lying, bro. I ain't like that scene how he was interacting with that little boy, but everything he been seeing, speaking on here been facts. That music, bro, the repetitiveness, the dark 808s, the dark decibels, man, the low vibration dial, it's got these kids in the trance, man. It's got these kids in the trance, bro. It's telling them to murder, 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 kill, kill, kill. I ain't lying. Go on, get the business clear. We got money on his head. Oh, oh yeah, he what a TV is. <laughs> See them young and all black. Shout out to sneaker tag. Glenn with a switch. Tell the AR came with a bird. Yeah. Make up people call the law. Look in the sky. It's, it's a bird. bird. It's, it's a plane. Nah, bitch, that's your dog. What'd you say? Anyone, anyone here has PTSD? Uh, yeah, that shit cold. This shit, yeah. Yo, yo. That cold, yeah, yo. We got shot at But yeah, man, I'll tell you, yeah, but not be scared. Oh, I say you, can, you can't food. look at like PD, you gotta look at like a three or like. Hell yeah. Look at like crazy, PD. bro. Word, word. Look at like PD, PTSD. Now we'll go ahead and clock yourself up at this bitch. I look at this shit like, you know, they move in, the bitch, they go in, fool. You feel me? Just like real move, you gotta end. A real move ain't right? till you open your head, then you wake up. Yeah, no, nah, real move got time is starting to eat. Hey, has anyone here got PTSD? Me? Everybody. 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 Firecrackers give me girl. Firecrackers. Come on, mom. We know it's a firecracker. Pull me through the instant. <laughs> 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 and bro, when you get shot, See? when you get shot, what goes through your head? You know, man, I ain't feel it, you feel me? I ain't feel it. Just you know, my general, you know, pumping, you feel me? Like, shit. Uh, it is what it is at that point, you feel me? Oh, do you think, no, when, that, <laughs> when that incident took place, did you think maybe the streets aren't worth it? Or what was, what was going through your head? Is it a case of get back or leave the streets? Yeah, leave the streets, you feel me? I done left, you feel me, but when I come back to the hood, you feel me? You gotta be streets. You gotta be crap. You gotta be crap. What crazy, bro? They vocabulary ain't even long enough to even really have a, a decent conversation. After every two, three words, is you feel me? That right there let me know how the uh, educational system working in, in, in these places 
that's predominantly black, man. Not even teaching these kids how to talk, bro. Then I done been hit before. He talking about he don't feel it. He right. When you, you don't feel it at first, but boy, when it come in, <laughs> you don't feel nothing else. I left the streets alone, but when I come out here, I be. Yeah, you gotta be on your P's and the You always yeah, gotta yeah. stay aware though. Yeah. You gotta be yeah, you, you, you gotta keep that. <laughs> you, know, yeah. you gotta keep it. You gotta have that mindset down here, And who here has who has PTSD from being in the streets? Yeah, yeah. 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 That's why I keep that's why I keep my always good. I done been shot and Pete, I don't know what's yeah, around. I got so shit. Paranoid. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, no, what, when that happened, what went through your head? Is, is it a case of get back or maybe I should leave the streets? Probably but... retaliation. And you have PTSD from being in this life? For sure. For sure. PTSD, you see, you don't see like when the cars come past, people clutching their guns out. Like, you got going to have PTSD for sure because you never know what's what. What's what. And bro, what would you... And what's crazy is, bro, why would you even want to be in a place where every time a car go by, you got to clench your pistol? You know why? It's because they don't know nothing else. That's crazy. They stuck. They be stuck in them situations. I'm so glad I got me and my children out that shit. Man, listen. Would you say if you're if the upset you guys look next to the spoiler truce? Big. Say shit. Yeah. The upset say what? That's spoiler truce. It's a bit. But get what we're gonna have to be, bro. I'm Peter the Night. He said call it quit. I stamp it. Yeah. It's a bit. It's all with. I know quit. So you, shit, you can't quit in hell time. Well, bro, how would it ever end? Then? I guess if no one's happy to pull the truth. This shit ain't gonna never end. This shit no. got too, it got too far. But you know what it is? Yeah, this shit called my one of my little family members get hit here. When I'm this father, shit, man, I'm 22 nah. right now. So when I'm about 38, they can have a son right now. When I'm 38, they son will be turned 16 and get their son killed. Yeah, this ain't gonna never stop. Going on. Never history. If the ops said to you, let's call it truce and let's forget what's happened in the past. Negative. Yeah. That negative, you know why? Man, we got little ones on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. You feel me, blood? You feel me? Yeah, blood. No like, way. And I just said that <laughs> it be families years and years ago by. And you still trying to get retaliation. <laughs> For something that happened to your cousin or your brother 10, 15 years ago. It don't stop. Yeah. But, but, uh, how, how is it ever gonna end? Nah, it ain't. ain't. Going it ain't. <laughs> but did you know, do you know what? Everybody <laughs> die. Do you know what? Do you know, we had long, we had long war on the ground right now. Yeah. It's called the truth. Me personally, I don't have no ops, so I don't know how to, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's too late. For I know it's too late for any ops, any shit getting squashed out here is over with. It's over with, for sure. How is it ever gonna end them, bro? It ain't gonna never uh, end. It can't end. Going, going Real shit. It ain't, gonna... it ain't gonna never end, bro. They mean that shit. This shit don't never end. It don't stop. Like I told y'all earlier, the hood ain't gonna never change, bro. Never end. 1,000%, it'll never end. And let me ask you a question then. So if you're upset yeah, to you, drama. let's just end it and pull a truce. <laughs> it ain't no end. It, it ain't no sponsor. Like <laughs> you know, that would... Cause he ain't the only person who ain't. One nigga can say it, other niggas still gonna be on that same other shit. Still gonna say it. Oh, man. Still gonna be on that other shit. So how does it end, bro? It's going to the blood shit. Yeah, the killer, the killer It's interesting to say that, bro, because every interview I go to... The next that, generation, that, then his son go, go look up, see what's going on, then go continue. Yeah. Like they you. son, go continue. You got some of that chill, like, older folks that got killed before we even jump in the street. Yeah. Mm. So, like, we young, can't really do shit about it, so we really just trying to make sure we can get out here. They seen this shit since we were young. But, bro, I guess, how would this ever stop here? Because I feel like this is what... It's not, it's not, because... You gonna lose a person you love, and then you you gonna feel like, like boom. So they like yo, you, you and yo one and up. Nigga hit them. You gonna feel some type of way. So you like, damn. Now I gotta go make this nigga feel like. Nah, like they gotta feel my. Like, them your friends. Somebody come take him from you. You will feel it in some moments. You will won't protect. Hey, well y'all watching these videos? Them ones in the back that don't do too much talking, don't do too much smiling. You don't never see their teeth, only their eyes. Them be the ones that be doing all the hits, gang.
Just a one on one. Them be the, the ones that do all the talking and rapping. They might get busy too, but the ones that be in the background ain't saying too much. Look dirty. Them the hitters. Tell me, them pain. You missing his presence and stuff. Nah, like so, bro, it'll hurt your back heart. Back, 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 so it could be a nigga that he just met. He gon' he gonna wanna jump in because he see like boom. Nigga looking at him like, oh yeah, he he doing this, he done stepped on this person, he done stepped on this. He want that fame too. He want nigga know him too. So boom, he gonna jump in it too. So it ain't gonna never end because everybody gonna wanna do what they see another nigga. What would you say to the next generation now? So I guess some facts, boy. Copycat where I just told y'all, man. It's all about who putting in the most work, who making the most money, who getting the most female game. That's the only ceiling. That's the award show in the hood, my boy. Millions of people are watching this. So yeah. I feel like millions of people will watch this. And a lot of them are probably considering jumping off the porch. What would you say to that? Man, stay. I ain't gonna lie. Do you like stay? Do what you want to do. Like, like me being the kid, like, I, my, my mom tried to do the right way and see my folk. But me being the kid, I'm not a kid gonna do what they want to do anyway. You feel me? You can't stop no, you ain't gonna stop no bathroom. Don't no, tell you though. Stay your ass on the port. Don't come out there more for you. Might not be able to get back on that more for you. So what would you say to the next generation, the next 13, 14 rolls now who are watching this video? Get money. Stay in school. Get money, honey. Get, get some money. You yeah, get, get money, money. Right, 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 right. Get money. All that shit really fucked up right now. All that shit really fucked up right now. Yeah. School system and everything, all that shit fucked up right now. What would you say? Because like I said, I feel like millions of people are potentially going to watch this documentary. Yeah. Some of them are probably considering jumping off the porch. No. What, what, what would you say to those people watching? Don't do it. Don't do it. And if you do, don't be one foot in, one foot out. Because at the end of the day, your mama going to be confused. Wondering what the fuck happened if you hiding it from her, but you if you thirty, my dude, I gotta keep this bitch on me. I got to. You hear me? Can't be one foot, one foot out. Can't be. Just all the way in, all or nothing. Real talk. Real talk. Stay out this shit. Stay out this shit. This shit ain't right. Your family got it good for you, bro. Go to school, bro. This shit ain't right. This shit ain't right at all. This coming from broke, poverty communities. I say that all the time. I see. Kids coming from well off homes, man, want to be a part of this shit. Be coming from two parent households in the suburbs, good schools, good education system. Be so attracted to this shit, bro. That's why many people are going to watch the shit. They be attracted to this shit, bro. People that don't know about this life, they can't wait to see it on TV, bro. They really want to be in it. And E14, don't do it, bro. Don't do it. Bro. I'm going right. to give your ass a hundred years. Hundred years. Waiting on you. Or a nigga going to kill you. Real talk. I'm told. Pansy, millions of people are going to see this. That's what we doing the shit we doing for. Every day. We taking these penitentiary channel like, you know what I'm saying? Every day. Just so the youth ain't got to, you know what I'm saying? We trying to change the narrative. I, I want you to say to us, millions of people are probably going to watch this documentary. Uh -huh. So what would you say to the next generation who are now considering jumping off the porch? Shit, this shit ain't what you, what where everybody think. It ain't it ain't just every Roll street nigga room. for real. Every street nigga I can Roll tell you room. don't wanna be like don't wanna be they was you know they was only played the whole card they were dealt. Don't nobody wanna be in this shit. Facts. So when I see these kids from these good communities and, and upstanding environments, bro, that wanna be a part of this shit, I'm here to tell you. Folk that got to be in this shit, grew up in this shit, they don't want to be there, man. That's why they do the drugs, the music, and all that shit to try to take their mind away from their situation, man. They don't nobody want to see their mama cry. They only just show the good, they don't show what really, what really go on, you know what I'm saying? Because the internet, you know, they going to feel to that shit, you know? Hey. Shit, we going to give this shit raw and cut, you know what I'm saying? Like, it yeah, this shit, fun, it, it look fun, it ain't. You don't want to see your, all your people... Crying. You don't want to shit. When you pull out your driveway, you looking around, make sure ain't nobody backed up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you always got to be looking over your shoulder. How, how would you feel if your children want to jump in the streets? I wouldn't. I don't even I want my children. By the time, 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 time my little boy feel like that, we're going to be up. But at the same time, it's some shit like you won't even be able to control it because you got to look at what they growing up looking at. I know I wouldn't want my child to go. Exactly, man. That little boy, that got a head on the shoulder. Everything you've been saying been 100. Exactly, man. That little boy, that got a head on the shoulder. Everything you've been saying been 100.
I don't care how much you say, stay in your motherfucker, that stay in the house, stay in the house, stay in the house. Kids mimic what they see. If you tell your child to go in the house and then you go outside, guess what he gonna wanna go? Outside. This wouldn't a parent with recommendation for their child to do, but at the same time, they're gonna do what they want to do. They looking at you going in. Once they get gone, it's over, but you can't even control it like that. Everybody gonna go through that stage in their life. See, it's up to you. I raised him like he's my own, yes, sir. I've raised more black kids than I have my own. I ain't got two white boys, they're mine and my wife. Did you hear me from you? He doesn't, but he lives close by. But he'll be at my house sometimes before I get up in the morning, ready to go, feeding the chickens and hogs and all that stuff. And I guess, how did you how did you two connect? How did we connect, Junior? Just coming up to the store with a pretty little smile and a worth ethic, worth ethic, ethic, ethic. And his mother was a uh, his mother's good. But... Pretty little smile and work ethic. It's crazy when you talk about a little boy, my man. This is why I work, man. I might want to do another documentary on old McDonald's farm with Lil' Junior, man. <laughs> I ain't lying. <laughs> if it ain't for the, the mothers and the grandmothers, the black kids ain't got a chance. The, the ones that just wander the streets and all ain't got a chance. They're zero. Ain't one man, minus two. As a whole. Negative one. Well, I love God and I love people wherever I'm standing, but uh, I'm going to live here and die here. I just farm. We farm, don't we, Junior? And don't we talk preaching, preach and preach about safety, power takeoffs, and tractors. He's 12 years old, he can drive a grown man's tractor, Joe run GPS, and all that. They just need more attention. Now, here's your thing. <coughs> man, he cooking all these kids need some attention somewhere to drive their mind somewhere different, besides looking at that bullshit. Teach them something different, man. Show them something different. That's it. That's all. The key and need, bro. It's a different direction. And a father figure, man. More father figures, man. For real. Until us people come together as a unit and teach the youth that, hey, there's a better way. Stay in school and educate yourself. Go to college and keep that same positive mind that, hey, you can be something, you can do something while I fall into the streets. I think the better off the communities will be. I think the much better off the young, the youth will be. And if you could change anything about Mississippi as a state, what would you change? Uh, it ain't shit. It, it's kind of like, I don't know. It ain't shit to change. It ain't gonna never change. Just be stuck like this. It's over with. You gotta go, you gotta move away. Real shit, you gotta move away. And if you could change anything about Mississippi, what would it be? Yeah, yeah, yeah environment. Yeah, Bush would have more place to go and stuff. That's why. Now we can control the dioxin. We invent this. We ain't got no wildfire. Yeah, we really have a broken state. We don't have. We don't have no arcade centers for nobody to go hang out at or chill. We don't got none of that. That's crazy, bro. So much shit be happening, bro. Ain't no fun down there. That's all they got. When something do happen, guess what? We the everybody up. So guess what? Somebody gonna bump heads, though. It ain't gonna happen no more. Like right. recently, the part of this happened. That's crazy too, man. God, I ain't think about that. When they you ain't your ops, when you ain't got nothing to do with your city like that, and it, and it, if it's something to do, a state fast, something come like that, everybody, you and your ops, and everybody in between gonna be at the same spot. Tragedy. Happen down there, bitch. Guess what? Hey, broken the cars. as well i guess if you could change anything about moorhead what would you change or mississippi as, as a state uh you know trying to surround for the kids and shit because it really ain't nothing here you feel me like nothing he'll get some get kids something to do is all you know you come through downtown right you see all them be in the cadet 
they, they move all of God. See, them jobs, they need to be re heard for people can work. My people, black people. You know, my mom might want to go get a job. So I ain't saying she need a job. Get a job, all that. See, that's what I'm called. Fix that up. You hear me? In the basketball part right there. You hear me? That one called Fix that up for the community. People of faith in our communities need to be praying that faith would be the reason. Um, that that hearts would change and people would know Jesus and know the love of Jesus and uh, that through that we would love each other in a perfect way that that we cannot already do without it. So it was a pleasure speaking to you. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Yes, sir. You too. That was amazing. Hey, man. Listen, it's going down in Jackson, Mississippi, bro. But as you can see, it's just one of them cities that ain't got nothing going on. They ain't got nothing to do but get busy. That's all they got to do. Put in work. Action. That's it. They got to create their own action, man. They got to create their own Call of Duty, their own street fighter. You know what I'm saying? So listen, man. Y'all hit the like, set, subscribe, bro. Listen, man. The hood ain't going to never change. It is what it is. You just got to teach your own individual child. Each one teach one, man. It's the only way we're going to get out of certain situations in the United States of America, bro.